soft velocity. In a previous chapter, we extended the capabilities of H5. We have now clickable headers and I can sort the table using the headers. And I have now a very nifty scrolling section. But well, what I would like to have right now is uh, a button to download what's on the screen using CSV so I can open this information on Excel and you may be thinking that this is really hard because if you have to do it on a traditional way you will spend uh, more than a few minutes to achieve that but we are using Clarion and H5 so it should be very easy there is something that is doing exactly that a couple of files one very simple initialization and you should be able to download the file with the information that is on the screen well let's do it let's do it right now first we have to add a new button and it's very easy let's use some text so at the end user will know what to expect and so so we will some cosmetic details let's use an icon just let's be honest icons are really nice okay let's run this So we have the new button here, if I click on it, nothing will happen, nothing happens at all. It's time for us to add the code. First thing first, we need to add a couple files, these two files. We have to add a couple files to the proper folders. Let's see. I had a zip here. I just need this. Let's copy this here, right here. Now we have to open the skeleton, and the skeleton is here. And of course, let's add the two script files there we go very easy right remember these are the two files that we just had to copy over and we have to save this of course so far so good let's run this And let's go back to the application, okay? Well, if I click on this, nothing is happening. Not right now. There is nothing happening. Let's take a small look at this. I would like to know what name is using this button because we will need that information. Okay, fine. This is all the information that I need. I just have to add something to the skips section. That something 
remember that we use CSV Something really important that we have to take into consideration is JavaScript is case sensitive. So we need to use this. And remember, the table is browse one, underscore one. Let's download it as with a different file name and let's run it, okay? We don't care right now about the desktop counterpart we have to restart this okay, there we go let's click on it and it is working, it is working properly I have now the information on a different place, you see? And it took me only a few minutes, and that's what makes Clarion and H5 really amazing.